Hey creeps, it's Cameron and welcome to Library Macabre. Today, we're gonna go shopping for books. I always get a lot of questions about where I buy my books, where I go shopping for books. I do a lot of my shopping online, but there are quite a few bookstores in my area that I like to hit up every once in a while. So I'm gonna show you some of those bookstores today. Now there are a few different kinds of books that I am looking for today. Vintage horror paperbacks, that's what I'm always looking for. The more vintage horror paperbacks, the better. That also goes for vintage YA horror. So anything from the 80s or 90s. I'm also looking for other retro kinds of children's books like Babysitter's Club, Sweet Valley High, Bailey School Kids, Goosebumps, Fear Street, Christopher Pike, all of those books from my childhood. And I'm also always on the lookout for more vintage mysteries like Trixie Belden, Nancy Drew, Hardy Boys, all of those kinds of books. So fingers crossed that we're going to find some of those today. We're going to start off with a thrift store. So I'm going to head over there right now and I will see you when we get there. Bye. All right, we're here. The first stop is St. Francis Thrift Store. Now, don't worry, I am going to be going to some bookstores here very soon, including a couple of my favorite bookstores. But St. Francis is always worth checking out whenever I'm in the area, and this just happens to be the closest place. So I'm hitting this up first. I often find some really good books in here, especially vintage books. I mean, the entire vibe of the store is pretty much retro. They haven't updated it since like the 80s. It's, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to mask up and we'll see what we can find. So that wound up being not a bust. So that's awesome. I did find quite a few books. Not a lot, but um, found some quality stuff, especially this guy right here. Here we have R.L. Stein's Fear Street Seniors. This is a super rare series. Like if you look these up online, these are going for a lot of money and it's really hard to collect these. I have a few at home, but I did not have a copy of book two. So this one's called In the Deep, or sorry, In Too Deep. Only 79 cents, which is a great deal. This made me so freaking happy. I also found a couple of Sweet Valley books. So we have Sweet Valley University. This is book number four. The first book in the Sweet Valley Kids series. That was only 49 cents. Here I found a book by Phyllis Reynolds Naylor. This is called The Witch's Eye. It's a very old school edition. I remember reading this back in school. This was only 79 cents. And I also found a copy of Babysitter's Club, book number one, Christie's Great Idea. Now I usually try to just collect first printings of all of the books that I get. Like all the other books I got were all first editions. This one isn't, but I've been needing a copy of the first book so that way I can actually read the series. All right, next we're gonna go to Bookery, which is in Fairborn, Ohio, one of my favorite places to shop. That's where I bought the majority of my vintage horror paperback. So we're going to go there next. All right, we are here at Bookery Collectibles, which is one of my favorite places to come and hunt for books. It's mostly now a collectible comic book store, but they still do have quite a few like more valuable limited edition horror books at the back of the store. And then across the street, they have all of the like modern comic books and some board games and stuff. Bookery is located in Fairborn, Ohio, which is one of my favorite places to come because this is actually like one of the spookiest places in Ohio. Main Street here in Fairborn is mostly made of Halloween stores and these stores are for the most part open year round. When I wrote my book, Autumn Crow, a lot of people thought that I based the town of Autumn Crow on like Salem, Massachusetts or something like that. Actually, I took a lot of inspiration from Fairborn, Ohio. The Halloween stores here are amazing. And this is where I pretty much grew up. I used to come here all the time, year round, not just at Halloween time. There are several Halloween stores on the street as well as a really spooky oddity shop called The Secret Chamber. And it looks like they're open right now. So I might actually go into that shop after I'm done book shopping.
All right, so I went to Bookery, didn't find anything. Uh, they used to have a big book section toward the back and they still had it, but it was kind of off toward the side at the top of their basement steps and there was, there was stuff in front of it. So I didn't really feel like uh, looking. It felt like it was kind of off limits. So I, I kind of just passed looking at anything there and I didn't get anything from the secret chamber either. It's mostly just really fun to go in there and look around. As you saw, it's, it's an amazing place. I did, however, go to the toy store, which is right behind me over here. And uh, this is a pretty cool store. It's got a whole bunch of toys. So if you're into collecting toys, that might be a good place to look. But I remembered that they often have some Goosebumps books. So I went in there and sure enough, I found one Goosebumps book that I still needed. So this is Goosebumps Presents. This is uh, Let's Get Invisible, one of the few Goosebumps Presents books that I'm missing. It was only $3, so I'm really glad that I went in there. This is in really nice shape. So next up, we are gonna go to classic half price books. So just got out of half price books and I did find a couple of good things. Uh, not a whole lot, but I'm so glad I went in there because it was worth it. So I did find one of the Christopher Pike books that I'm missing. This is Remember Me. Now this is in great shape. I only got it for $2.49. It's not a first edition. It's like not a first printing, but it does have the original cover. So that's cool. I also found this pinnacle book. This is called Where Is Mommy Now? And this isn't uh, one of those pinnacle horror books this is actually like one of those uh thrillers but i always pick these up because i love the covers and they still kind of pass for horror like i still put them in my horror section and uh it's a really beautiful shape no spine creases they did have another one in there that i almost bought but it wasn't in the best shape so i went ahead and let it go also found another goosebumps book this is give yourself goosebumps number 10 Diary of a Mad Mummy. I already have this, but this one's in like brand new condition. So I went ahead and picked this up for only $2, which is great. I also found a Scary Stories for Sleepovers book. These are like scary stories to tell in the dark, only the stories are a little bit longer and they're not really folklore. They're just kind of uh, goosebumpsy stories. And then I did find one more book and that is a Bobsy Twins. I really like the Bobsy Twins mysteries. They're really cute. This one is called Secret in Pirate's Cave. This is one of the 80s books. Uh, I didn't actually know that there was an 80s series that's separate from the other Bobsy Twins. So next we're going to hit up a Goodwill and see if I can find anything there. And then I saved the best bookstore for last, the one that I'm most excited for. So I'll see you in a little bit. <sighs> nope. Not a damn thing in there. We are going to actually run to another Goodwill. There's another one that I just remembered. Is It's a newer Goodwill, and it's also near a Dunkin' Donuts. So I think I'm gonna get myself an iced coffee because it is actually really hot outside. I guess I'll take one iced caramel craze latte. What size? I'm gonna need a large, please. Large iced caramel craze. And that's it? Four All right. Thank you. Have a you too. Look at that. I'm not going to lie. I did not realize that this was going to be quite this huge, but <sighs> blessed be. That book is in chronic pain. Nope, nothing. Why is it that the, it's always the rich Goodwills that have the most boring shit? Done with the Goodwills, and now let's just 
go to the bookstore. The next bookstore I'm gonna go to is called Dark Star Books. This is in Yellow Springs, Ohio. Dark Star is really awesome. They always have a really good horror section and um, they update it fairly often. Like I said, this bookstore is located in Yellow Springs, Ohio, which is actually a really famous town. If you know the comedian Dave Chappelle, he actually lives in Yellow Springs and he's always got different celebrities coming through. I think Bradley Cooper was in recently. Of course, Lady Gaga and uh, a bunch of other celebrities that he knows. So it's, it's definitely made a name for itself. So there's going to be a little bit of an anticlimactic end to this video because I went in there and I was shopping for a few minutes and the guy came up to me and was like, hey, we're closing in eight minutes. So I was like, oh, I was finding quite a few things, but I went ahead and just put them away and I'm going to come back another time and get them because there just wasn't enough time to really look and I didn't want to take up any other time since they were trying to close up. So... Sorry, the white balance was all crazy. Anyway, uh, I know this was a little bit different from what I usually do, but I would really like to start doing more book shopping videos and showing you guys where I shop because there are several other stores that I like to hit up. But I hope you enjoyed this. Please don't forget to give me a like down below if you enjoyed this video and drop me a comment letting me know what you thought about this, what you thought about the books that I got because I actually did get quite a few decent books today. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode of Library Macabre. Later creeps. P.S. I literally drank this entire thing in like five minutes.